Qualcomm didn't release just one 800 series processor this year, the Snapdragon 8088, it announced another one, the Snapdragon 870, or the Snapdragon 865 plus plus, as I like to call it. Well, today we're going to see what is the difference between a Snapdragon 870 and a Snapdragon 888 as we test the Poco F3 with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. So we have the Poco F3 with the Snapdragon 870 on the left hand side. We have the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Snapdragon 888 on the right hand side. Both of these are of course uh, new processors. Of course the 870 is really the 865 tweaked to be at a bit of a faster clock speed. So the 888 should be a generation ahead, but it hasn't quite got the same clock speed. So it'll be interesting to see which one actually comes out on top. Of course, if uh, Qualcomm have got their marketing right, of course, it will be the 888. And as I said, that it was the first into the 16 thread test. So it's now going through that. So is the Poco F3. Both of them, of course, got octa-core process. Shouldn't be a problem as we're now into the blur test on the right-hand side, which of course is the beginning of the mixed CPU, GPU part of this test. In a moment, we're going to see the smoke particle test after the infinite scrolling list, which is happening on the right-hand side and now on the left-hand side. And that will tell us what the 2D graphics frame rate is like. So let's see what we get now on the right-hand side. What's it going to be? 35, 34 frames a second on the left-hand Hand side what we're gonna see come on what is it going 29 29 frames a second so an advantage there by the galaxy s21 as it was the first into the unreal test the unreal test now is also starting on the poco f3 but i think the galaxy s21 is clearly in the lead at this point unless there are any big surprises it's the first into the unreal test i don't think it's gonna be any surprises it will finish first but let's see what the difference is at the very end as the poco f3 is now also into the unreal test what's the time going to be on the right hand side there we go one minute 19 seconds and on the left hand side one minute 22.2 okay let's break down the scores and see how the 870 did so as we expected the galaxy s21 with the 888 came in first one minute 19 seconds and then 3.2 seconds later came in the poco f3 with the snapdragon 870 one minute 22.2 so what happened we'll look at the cpu 36.6 versus 34.7. So a clear win there for the Galaxy S21 Ultra by 1.9 seconds. And also shows us that the newer CPU, the later generation is actually faster, even though the Poco F3 is clocked at a higher clock speed. So a good idea of what you can get from one generation to the next. When we get to the mix CPU, GPU, of course, we have the faster uh, frame rate from the Galaxy S21 Ultra, 18.1 seconds versus 21.1 seconds, so a difference there of 3 seconds. However, what's really interesting, when we get to the GPU here, the Poco F3 measured a time of 24.4, whereas the Galaxy S21 Ultra had 26.1, so it was actually catching up. So there you go, there was actually faster in the GPU, and I wonder what that means, a faster GPU? in the 870 compared to the 888. It's an interesting proposition, isn't it? But anyway, and during this test overall though, the Galaxy S21 Ultra won with one minute, 19 seconds. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test Gear. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Best thing is not to rely on the recommendation algorithm. Maybe you wouldn't have seen this video. Instead, it's better to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.